Okay, for today's daily Bot Bots review, here we have Spot the Rock from Series 2. Spot the Rock is part of the Shed Heads yet again. He's actually a repaint of Slobber Rock from Series 1, who turned into a bit more of a you know generic rock with some moss on it. And now uh, Spot the Rock is, I guess, more like a cave spotted rock, and the grass is supposed to be like mold or something now i'm not really sure what grass is like yell that shade of mustard yellow so i think they pretty much just did it that color for the aesthetic of the robot mode but it doesn't really make a ton of sense in this mode and now uh the the like grass piece is now just this brown same like dark gray brown as the body which implies that it's part of the rock even though it's a plant so that's a little strange um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think that Slobber Rock had a tremendous alt mode to begin with because you can kind of just see his head peeking out there. But this one I think is kind of even worse. Um, but to transform this guy, you just flip his legs out. And then uh, push him. It does have like a fingernail thing here for you to pull the head, but I, I find it's easier to just push it from the back. And then <clears throat> extend down the tail. And there you have Spot the Rock in his robot mode. And he's cute, you know, uh, just to compare him here with uh, Slobber Rock, so you can see kind of what changed paint deco wise. You know, they're they're mostly the same, but um, you can see Spot the Rock got some spots around his eyes, which really helped them pop. And obviously he's got that speckling all over him. So yeah, I, I think they both work pretty well. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I think that the, the yellow suits him well in robot mode. It just doesn't really do a ton for his rock mode or whatever it's supposed to be. Um, but yeah, a pretty cute little guy. I, lo I love the the uh, added detail to the eyes there. I'd say robot mode for me is going to get, uh, just like Slobber Rock, not only the full 5 out of 5, but that extra bonus 6 point because I, I just find these guys absolutely endearing and I like them as a little crew too just waddling around like two different members of the same species very cute um alt mode is gonna give a one out of five for me uh slobber rock i, I think i gave it two out of five just because like his head was peeking out so it's like eh, not great and this one was like i didn't think it, they could really like you know do that much worse with this guy's alt mode but it's, yeah, not very convincing, even as a rock, which it shouldn't be that difficult to be, you know, convincing as a rock, I don't think. <laughs> um, and then transformation, I might be being a little bit generous with this, but I, I find this guy so endearing that, like, I really enjoy doing the transformation. Like, he's definitely one of those ones I like to pick up and just kind of, like, fiddle with. So I'm going to give it the full five out of five, which, you know, it's a... Uh, it, Compared to my usual score of a 3 out of 5 for the transformation as average, 5 might seem a little bit high, but I, I find this guy very charming and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, uh, you know, leaning towards giving him more points. Uh, so that's going to give or Spot the Rock an overall score of 12 out of 15, which makes him a 4-star bot bot. So yeah, yeah, pretty much the same as Slobber Rock. I think I still like Slobber Rock a little bit better just because, like, his alt mode works a little bit better. And even that one's not that amazing. Um, but they're both really cute, and I like them. So there you go. There is the review for Transformers BotBots Series 2, Spot the Rock.